my last few hours here, y'all. 48 hour trips don't make any sense. <laughs> like, What's up, y'all? This is your girl, D, and I'm back for another episode of Real Tea with D. You already know this is your favorite YouTube channel for all of your favorite YouTuber gossip, the ones that they talk about and the ones that they don't. And baby, let's go ahead and get into this whole little ATL situation because you already know it's something to be said, child, okay? For today's first topic, we got your girl, Chelsea Janae, and baby did not come to play, okay? Chelsea's here! Hey, yeah. <laughs> so we see how Chelsea came and She do not got time for the games, honey. The strong, strong. I ain't been doing that drinking since I got back from Houston. Girl. Look, Chelsea said, I ain't been drinking since I got back from Houston since we walked our asses all the way back from that Beyonce concert. Mm-hmm, child, that was the last time I had a drink. So, child, no, I'm not drinking with you no more. Moving along to the next topic, which is your girl, Gina Janine. Now, look, baby, as fast as she got to Atlanta was as fast as she was ready to go home. But this is our humble abode. Nice little 48 hours for me. Good morning, y'all. It's Saturday. I my first and only full day here. Oh, yes, my only full day. My last few hours here, y'all. Child, what it looked like to me is Gina was thinking about the flight back on the flight to Atlanta, okay? Now, child, I know this was supposed to be a 48-hour trip, but when I say, honey, she was ready to go, baby girl was ready to go before she even got there, okay? She reminded us that she was supposed to leave 18 times in this trip before she actually packed her stuff up to go. Now, this whole little situation with this gang, child, when I say they didn't stress this damn lady out, they done almost gave Gina a heart attack. The look on her face while they was playing this game, child, done sent me through the roof because I thought that was too funny. She didn't know where to put the phone up, down, turn it around. Child. Gina's like, I don't even be doing this type of shit, y'all. I'm about to go to bed, okay? Y'all figure out the answers to these questions and y'all let me know tomorrow, okay? This one, I bought this probably... Probably about nine months ago, baby. Never tried it on. Nothing. Then this dress I've had for about three years. Still got the tag on it. Never wore it. I had wanted to go to the mall to try to find something pink last minute, but it just didn't make sense time-wise, so... Now, from what it looks like to me, pink was the plan for one of these nights for the dinner. But what we all know is that Gina don't plan for a damn thing. So we wasn't going to expect her to wear the pink regardless. Now, she had two dresses that she ain't never tried on before. Why she brought them on this trip thinking that she was just going to squeeze in them and make it work, child? I don't know. But I done found two or three pictures of Gina in pink. Now, she could have thrown on one of these shirts to follow the guidelines of the pink dinner. But, baby, she wasn't the only one that didn't wear pink. So I guess everybody else didn't get the memo either now, child. Okay, let me get my lip gloss because everybody about to be ready. Let me get my lip gloss. I was just asking about you. I said you been in that chilling. Yes, yeah, ready. Now, baby, look. From what I concluded with this whole little situation is it wouldn't matter if you was on vacation with Gina or in the same house as Gina. She gonna be late from the same house, from upstairs. Gina was late from upstairs, y'all. This is yours? Mm-hmm. Do you want it? Mm-hmm. Did you want one? Mm-hmm. You said no? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, both for me then. Oh, no, I drank it. Go ahead. You did say no, and I, and I heard you say no because I had no, to drive okay, an hour. I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead. I mean, drink it. Okay, I'm gonna give you the one with just a little bit. Okay. Now, chill. Gina done found this bottle in the refrigerator that didn't belong to her. Then decided that she didn't want to share it with somebody. Offered it to somebody. The lady said she ain't want it. Now she want it. She done poured this lady a splash in that glass and hope she make it home, okay? She gonna make it home safely, honey, because you ain't put a damn thing in there. But at the end of the day, we seen her keep filling up her cup, child. My mama taught me to take that out. Yeah, I, look. But you know they're not taking it out at the restaurant that you eat at. Hell no. Well, they probably not doing a lot of things. Why you had to say that to me? They not. But it's a lot of shit they don't do at the restaurant, but guess what? Now, baby, look, here come Portia with the clarification. You already know Portia gonna come every time. Which leads me to my next topic, which is Portia Nicole, because you already know every time she come, she come to serve and she come to have a good time. Y'all already know what type of trip it's gonna be if Portia is there, chow. Lily, I'm twerking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Portia, you gonna be there? Yeah, I'm twerking. Baby, if it's one thing Portia gonna do, she gonna show up, she gonna have a good time, she gonna make sure y'all have a good time. And one thing she also is gonna do is for damn sure not upload it for us to see it on her channel, child. But we'll get to it. We know we'll see it eventually, child. All right. My brain is this old. I have them since June. Oh, <laughs> Hold on, and wait, wait, because y'all got me f***ed up, stole the money from the strip club. Oh. Portia is like, look, this is why I told y'all not to wear them wigs to the cenote because my braids been lasting for months. Portia has some in her purse, y'all. Y'all can't see. Oh, okay. That's, that's Malibu. <laughs> my Portia like, that's Malibu. <laughs> Portia like, that's mine. This is Malibu. And no, I do not got nothing in my purse. And chill, here go Gina, always telling something Portia got going on. She like, look, she got a ring. She got some drink in her purse. Portia is like, no, I don't. And no, I don't, chill. Okay, I don't know why you telling these people. I don't even know them like that. And I'm for damn sure not finna share my Malibu with all these folks. And I'm not even sharing it with you, chill. Leave me alone. <laughs> And baby, 
if we know anything about Portia, she is going to make you do that toast, okay? And if we know anything about Gina, after 10 years of hanging out with Portia, she still don't know the damn toast, y'all. I don't know why and I don't know how, but she don't. She don't. Moving on to the last topic, which is your girl, Lily. We already know she had a good time for her birthday, honey. And baby, when I say I hope the good times keep rolling, we already know our girl Lily done had a tough few weeks now, child. So if you know anything about what's been going on, child, wish her the best. Because it's been tough, honey. The one that Lily tried to hide in the refrigerator, like I'm not going to open it and give me a drink. Of. What? The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the other. Oh, the Stella Rose. The house again. Katie. Oh, the house again. That's going to hide with me. I ain't trying to open none of my milk up. Oh, oh, gosh. Lily is like, baby, most certainly not. All that liquor coming home with me. Y'all didn't give me this liquor for my birthday for me to serve it back to y'all child. All them bottles coming back home to my you house. You ask me, she might as well take one of them bottles and go ahead and take it home and service it to that crazy lady to get her up off her back, child. But I wish Lily the best because, like I said, these past few weeks have been troublesome for her, honey. So I'm hoping it's some good days coming ahead for this woman because she definitely deserves it. Now, child, I know some of y'all be mad at her. And look, I was a little frustrated too for a minute. But, honey, I always wish her the best. I love Lily, so I'm always praying for the best for you, boo. So to wrap things up, it looks like the ladies had a beautiful time in Atlanta and I hope to see them back again together because it looks like Gina's birthday is coming up. So we'll see some of them vlogs. And if you didn't know, child, we got some information about the little situation with Lily because she uploaded. So we'll tap into that on a Friday Night Live. This week's shout out goes to my friend Erica Green, child. Okay, you and my friend African Flavor and did everything y'all needed to do up in the chat this week. Okay, so I appreciate both of y'all. Purple hearts to y'all. Please make sure you send some purple hearts in the comment section. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Because we will be uploading and doing another Friday Live soon. If you have not caught their videos, the links to their videos will be in the description too. So you can catch my links and go check out their videos as well. And we will be back for another episode of Real Tea with D very soon. And I will catch y'all next time. Peace.